so we're back with another movie commentary today we're gonna to be doing red white and royal blue i have no idea what's going on in this movie now a couple of people tell me to do it all i know is there's two guys other than that it could be anything they could be intimate they could be trying to kill each other who knows it could be a spy movie i have no indication of what this movie's about so hopefully it's going to be good i'm trusting you guys if you want to see the full uncut commentary for this movie you can check out my patreon it's the first link in my description box we do weekly posts with binges movies and tv shows which you guys want me to do in the future but let's get straight into the movie hopefully damn i don't know what to expect for this movie like right now i can see a picture he looks like a james bond type of person so maybe he's a spy i don't know Okay, people dying. Oh, <laughs> I just heard a bunch of people. Who knows? They could be dying. And to cheer the prince's younger brother, Prince Henry, known affectionately as Prince of England's Hearts. So is the other guy British or American? The contrast between both of them had to be completely different. So I'm wrong. It's not like a spy movie or <laughs> I'm gonna try to kill each other. How about we skip the party tonight and go do touristy things instead? No. Oh, okay. So Prince. Henry is going to be like very traditional and shit, what's his name? Alex is going to be very carefree because he's American. Oh wait, they're going to be together. <laughs> they're going to be together, right? So we're going to be effing or falling in love. Both. We could be doing both. I feel like if I use the wrong fork at dinner, they're just going to eat me alive. Oh, he better eat you later on. Just me. <clears throat> oh yeah, focus. You're not going to want to hear this, but that Prince Henry is... Yummy. Yes, a few times. He's very animated. He's the world's rudest person. He's the world's most irritating person. How's it going? Oh, damn. You didn't even shake? Are you allowed to do that? A little bit embarrassing. Like, everyone got it. All the old people shake hands. Like, realistically, I'm not saying, like, should I shake hands with an old person? Like, they could die. A lot of important people here. Do you want to leave? We are the same height. If you say so, Alex, great to see you. You too, your majesty. Maybe like an inch smaller. Like maybe you might win later on with something else though. We're talking about inches. <laughs> a napkin? You need multiple napkins. Does he get arrested? What, what happens here? Like what's, it, what's the protocol? Do we shoot him on sight? Is that offense? An attack? Oh, oh we're gonna damage the whole thing. Should we leave? Someone help! Oh, and the cake. Oh, at least free cake! Embrace it! Henry! And now you wanna shout? That was a whole 30 second scene. He wants cake. Like, you can get the top part. Like, some of it's not actually touching the floor. I'm taking a bite. Okay, kind of confused. Wait, we couldn't... We couldn't stop that from happening? From being leaked? Like, straight away, whoever's leaking them photos... Put them in a dungeon. Pretty simple instructions. Represent the family at the royal wedding and don't cause an international incident. Before this weekend, I had a higher approval rating than the prime minister. Hell, I was out polling the Spice Girls. Oh, what if they eventually, you know, become in a relationship and they can't come out because of what's going on with their family? That has to be it, right? I'm on the ballot again in 14 months uh -huh. and I need the farming exports and manufacturing jobs. Oh, I see what's going on here. So eventually someone is going to take a photo of them probably kissing, making out, maybe even having sex, which is crazy. And then she might lose and I'm guessing Henry's brother is going to be pissed. Ah, Asshole. Sora! Asshole. What are you? Ah. Stop! You're flying back to London, it's understandable. Yeah, which it was. And despite rarely having time to see one another, you and Prince Henry are in fact close personal friends. Oh, and this is how they spend time together. And they get a lot more closer than they expected. Like literally inside each other. You can hate Prince Henry all you want, but the minute you see a camera, you better act like the sun shines out of his ass and you have a vitamin D deficiency. He has a vitamin D deficiency? Well, we're gonna change that very soon. That's gonna be all D, that's always gonna be game. Maybe, I, I don't know. Like, that has to be the point of the movie. What's the name of Henry's dog? David. <laughs> I mean, David. really, who names her dog David? You know I have a Shih Tzu named Jonathan. Yeah, I still maintain that's weird. Ah, uh, I think Jonathan's better than David. David sounds very old. I feel like that dog is going to die in the next two years. So, what exactly is an aquarium? Do you uh, handle the horses? Or... I am His Royal Highness's personal attendant. Oh, okay. Can you shoot? Can you fight? Do you have a gun? How often do you use it? Have you killed someone? So much questions. You've got to be joking. Alex, it's good to see you. That's the same image I've seen in the beginning. I thought he was a spy. I'm slightly disappointed. 
two scooching a little closer together. Yes, yes. Uh, we hit it off instantly. Yeah. It's like we've known each other all our lives, right? Okay, foreshadow. It's gonna happen later on. They're gonna fall in love. I'm gonna say the next 30, 40 minutes. Alex has very strong opinions and, and he shares them loudly. You don't know this, but Henry does the best freestyle raps. Oh, you know what? It would be kind of cool if, say, for example, um, someone takes a photo of both of them and maybe they're kissing or being very touchy-touchy. And then after that, they come out as a couple and they have to do this interview again. Well, his mom is the president of the United States. And my mom is the Duchess of Edinburgh. Oh, no, no, no. Stay down. Give us a gun at least, damn, we are literally on top. So Henry is the bottom, I guess. I, I don't know, by default, give us a gun to defend ourselves. Okay, wait, hang on. Now, I just really hope they don't start making out right now because there's a shooter apparently in a children's hospital or something like that, right? So let's be responsible and not do anything too crazy. I went to introduce myself to you and you looked at me like I had head lice. Then you turned to your equerry and said, get me out of here. You couldn't have just been the conference. That's it, that's one interaction and now he hates you. But it was my first foray into the world as a public figure and I was really scared and you could have helped me and you didn't. You're right. I'm sorry, I was a prick to you. There we go! And then later on you can show him your prick. Well, hopefully he's, you know, bigger than a prick. Threat neutralized. Some kid brought fireworks for his friend. Oh, fireworks? That's it? I thought someone died. Oh, that's pretty shit. Like, I want her to open the door and say, I just dropped her body. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be very interesting to see how their first kiss happens. Or first awkward interaction. Okay, thank you very much. Well, I need to get out of here. Oh, he's gonna be at the party. Now, I don't know if Henry's gonna get jealous or Alex. Maybe Henry. He seems like the jealous type in the beginning. Well, the first son's charm offensive this week has helped his mother's campaign. I mean, he seems like a nice enough guy. Oh, come on, Dad. He's elite. Yeah, so we're still doing this right now. You haven't seen the other side right now. I don't mind that. Eventually, they're both gonna show different sides to each other. You're now elite and privileged and live in a palace. And your mom is the epitome of authority. They have to end up together, right? Like, I can see the sign. Unless I'm being completely misdirected. Hey, Miguel. What's up? ACD slumming it in Shaw. <laughs> <laughs> Got a minute? The only Republican who makes us nervous is Abraham Lincoln. And I doubt he's running. <laughs> you see, this is why I ask you these things. I just really hope the friend doesn't betray him. Like, I don't trust him right now. I don't. He's a journalist. They have no boundaries. Last well, I started on a good hour. Yeah, you're always better. running at full speed. Just look at this, it's an encantador. Oh, I see what we're doing here. You're like, Bo, you better shut up. We're in public. Was he just checking your ass? Can you even see his ass in them jeans? Like, is it tight? Like, I don't know. Oh. So we're becoming good friends now. Inbreed up. Uh, I'm just saying there's a possibility. If we go back to the 1600s, 1500s century, they were getting busy. I hate the tie you're wearing in Vogue. It's so boring. What do you have against color anyway? Gray is a color, thank you. So how long has it been now? And they've been a couple weeks. Eventually, if they keep going back and forth, they have to meet somehow. Maybe an event. Maybe a party. I first read Zadie Smith as a teenager. You absolutely have to read Another Country by James Bond. Every romance ever written in the last two centuries. And that's not even considering his personal life. I'm blocking you for the rest of the night. I'm liking how they're doing this. It's not very awkward because the next time they meet each other now, because they've been texting back and forth for a very long time, it's going to be very organic. A lot of times they just throw both characters in a very strange situation. They start making out for no reason. I'm in bed with my dog watching Bake Off. Never occurred to me that the royal family watches television. I'm hanging up now. No, I'm hanging up on you. Oh, we're doing this. Fine. Okay. 
have it your way. Hopefully they meet in the next 10, 15 minutes. I think it's time now. Detailing how we can win in Texas next year. I spent weeks working on it. I think it's a viable plan that you should take seriously. They don't actually value him at all. I mean, he's kind of young, but who knows? He could be a genius. You are genuinely useful. Yeah, for like photo ops and New Year's parties and stupid shit like that. Make sure Prince Henry comes to your party. People like him more than they like you. Well, they wouldn't if they knew him. Is that a bit surprising? Oh, is this when they're gonna have their first kiss? Cause there's no way Henry or Alex is gonna kiss another guy first. I can't see that happening. Miss Holleran, you are the most exquisite woman I've ever seen in my life. Okay, matchmaking. They could end up together. You gotta catch up. Okay, catch up? We've been talking every single day for the last, I don't know, couple of weeks, couple of months. Well, you don't even need to dance. And you don't need to mingle, you are a prince. They come to you. Why? Okay, straight away, need for speed. That's all I'm thinking about. Oh, everyone's going low and they can only see each other. That's kind of cool. I like that. Damn, people are getting low, low. They were joking. We are young. Like, if this was like 50s and 60s, them knees can't handle that at all. <laughs> he looks so awkward. Oh, okay, are we gonna kiss anyone? Oh, okay, a random? He kissing multiple people. God damn. She wants her babies. She wants her babies. Oh, is he gone? Where did he go? Oh, he's still here. Nice. No girls wanted to kiss Prince Henry? Oh, I'm a little bit surprised. But then again, I'm just saying that there could be some bodyguards here and anyone touch him, they're getting shot. Did I do something wrong? No. No, really. I was an anonymous working class kid for most of my life. Be a writer. Okay, you can still do that, maybe. Live in Paris. Now the whole Paris thing, I don't know. Oh! Oh! Oh, okay. You kissing back? You ki you kissing back? He, he ain't pulling back. Okay, let's hope no. Oh, we putting tongue in there. Ish. Yeah! He's like, I kind of want you to. Empty factories, hollowed out storefronts, communities in despair. Ooh, damn. So it's been over a month and he hasn't said anything. Funny thing happened on New Year's Eve. Mm. Henry kind of kissed me. You know? Anyway, okay, uh, tell me more about this kiss. Did you like it? That's crazy. You're just talking about him grabbing your hair? Well, he can do that later on if you want. Surprising. Mm. I mean, you've been wanting him to dick you down forever. What? Damn! Wrong! Whoa! Whoa! Like, you gotta slow, slowly ease him into it. Like, he could be the top. I don't know. How many guys have you been with? None. Oh. Is that the mom? You don't knock and you're probably an assistant. You don't do that. Fire her. Two. Once in high school and once with Miguel Ramos. Yeah, I knew about that guy. Fully naked in a hot tub. I get the feeling he wants me back in that hot tub, but you know, he's a journalist. Right. Yeah, don't trust him. Oh, what if he takes the photo because he's jealous? Wait, oh, I wonder if Henry's sister knows about Henry. Maybe speak to the sister. Let's move it so we can sit together if it's possible. If Henry's here, I read your Texas campaign memo. Oh, really? Oh, That's good. That was super confidential. Oh, I know he's gonna take the photo. Please let him take it. I wanna be right. The campaign putting your memo into action because they should. Focus, focus. I don't trust him. Okay, you need to relax because he's gonna be the jealous type. I need your help. Where's the threat? Do we need to clear the room? What? No! But please shoot someone in this movie. No. I just need to talk to Henry. Alright, is he gonna be here? Oh, we might actually make out. Don't go crazy. Because I know red theme, the lights, whatever. People start thinking about other stuff. Let's keep it PG-13 here. I know. I owe you an explanation. My behavior was appalling. Yeah, Shut up, stop talking. Oh, well, okay, is that better? Nice. Don't, don't get too crazy. These suits gotta be expensive. I'm just trying to help you. Is that antiques? Right, oh, yeah. Close that door. It's good to see you and His Royal Highness on better terms and not on the floor. Ah, we will be on the floor soon. I don't know who's gonna be on all fours, but someone eventually will be. I'm not done. Of course not. Then at midnight, you, you guys come to my room on the second floor of the residence where I'm, I'm going to do some very bad things to you. Oh, he said I'm on top and Henry, for me, for me. 
Get some condoms. You're late. Okay. Uh, cl close the door, Henry. Uh, maybe lock it. Okay. Now this seems like it's gonna be very intimate. Should I be watching this? I feel like I'm kind of intruding. I really thought you hated me. I hated how good you looked. Oh, okay. So do we have do we have condoms? Hey, hey, Henry, relax. I'm here. If I hear any sounds. The key to my family's house in Austin. I started wearing it when we moved here. Okay. So you about to give him that royal dick? I should probably get going. Uh, and use a mouthwash, just in case. Like, Alex is all over your mouth. Just in case. Or brush your teeth. Charity polo match in Windsor next month that my mate Percy's foundation organises. I, um... Next month? We've got to wait a whole month? And we said we are friends with benefits. And we have sex, like, once a month. I suppose that will be alright, seeing as... You won't be playing. I will. I have no idea what type of sport this is. We use horses? I thought that shit they were doing in Bridgerton. Seems difficult. Like, I can't even ride a horse, and you want me to ride a horse and then do something else at the same time. Okay, don't, don't get don't get too turned on right now. Like, there's a lot of people here. No, there's no way we're gonna do it here. People can maybe see, or maybe come inside. Well, speaking about coming inside, like, Henry, please, um, Alex, please, just, just saying, if you wanna do any of that, condoms, use the dom. But I think eventually someone's gonna find out, and it could be that journalist. You hungry? Yeah, I can eat. Hungry? Well, he just ate your sausage. My father's surname was Fox, so my full name is Henry George Edward James Hanover Stewart Fox. Oh, hell no. That's like six names? He sat me down on my 18th birthday and told me not to let any selfish desires I might be harboring reflect poorly on the crown. He's going to hate it if people find out about Henry. He might even have a heart attack, which is good, because, like, he's probably very old now. They said granddad. He has to be in his 80s. I was four years old when I realized that everyone in my country knew my name. Henry Fox has to belong to himself, or else he'll vanish. Okay, this is perfect, which means people are going to find out. And, well, the obvious thing would be that the public is going to hate it. But... From what he just said, I think the public is going to support both of them. We just make love anymore. We're going to like yeah. listen to Lana Del Rey when we do all it. All right, all right. <laughs> Del Rey? Hell no, we ain't doing that. You might start to feel sad. I am so not playing this cool right now. <laughs> I went to an English boarding school, dear. Whoa! What does that mean, Henry? What was going on in that boarding school? Should we like... Close the curtains. Even though no one should be able to take any photos, I'm just trying to look out for both of you. Oh, we could maybe use that tie for something else. If, you know, like you want to get freaky. Oh, okay. Now nah, this is a little bit. This is a little bit crazy. Like I don't need to see like he putting it in and then I feel like I'm definitely intruding. Like the breathing in and out. I can't believe how wrong it was about you. People are good for now. The, s the slow, slow strokes. Oh, he was holding on for dear life. Are we taking turns? Damn, he really grabbing your hair like that. Damn, this sex scene is a little bit long. <laughs> Imagine some people last like two minutes, and this sex scene's like I don't know, two, three minutes. Some people can't even last that long. My father was 12 when my brother brought him and his sister over from Mexico. I've been given a chance to be someone in the world that my father didn't see when he was growing up. Yeah, well, you better use it then. Do something amazing. Like, after you and Henry get together, take turns breaking each other's back, maybe say I love you, go do something. As a student at Georgetown Law is playing an active role in the campaign's new Texas strategy. Firing up the youth vote, building a grassroots movement. Why aren't you fighting for your home state, Ma? I am fighting for my administration. You're being idealistic when I need you to be realistic. Is that why you got into politics? I see what's going on here. Now that he's spending time with Henry, well, I wouldn't say his personality is changing. I think he has a warden point of view now. That has to be it. So his point of view is starting to enlarge and now he's seeing stuff in different perspective. And I think his mom is not really understanding what's going on now. 
They need me to be realistic so they can be idealistic. She has a point. Realistically, as the human race, it should be one step forward, two steps back. We don't like taking any steps back at all. Like once we do something, we're never gonna go back and change it. It's a bit messed up. What? You were 27, not 28 when you won your first election. Ooh. Ask any of the women who work for you. He basically just said, since I was a kid, I've been looking up to you. I've read everything. I know everything about you. What's all that? My first Texas campaign, your grandmother saved everything. Every press clipping, every button. Greetings from the Lone Star State. Where are we staying? It's hard though? to put into words how exciting it is to be back here. All right, so right now, everything is being very good. We're winning. Something bad's gonna happen now. Either someone finds out that him and Henry are kind of dating. I think you'd really like Austin most, especially. I want to see your mouth covered in barbecue sauce. Woo. And then I want to lick it off. I really thought you better say something else. You know what I mean. I'm proud Alex, of you first I understand what you're saying, and I believe what you're describing is called imposter syndrome. I know it but I know that you are not an imposter. Oh. Just hit a million bucks! He's not an imposter. I think we're both going to have to be kind of imposters in the next 20, 30 minutes because their parents or who else can tell us, you know, you can't be together. And even though they want to be something, they can't actually do it. But I do think in the end, they might have to come clean or someone's going to leak it. She has passed down to me a faith in America that always looks to the future, not back at the past. Okay, so it seems like we're not going to mess up. I'm happy for him. <laughs> Alex Claremont Diaz, it's almost seven. Okay. You have interviews to do, let's get going. Uh, Hide underneath the bed. She's going to open the door, fuck. Where is she? Zora, no one is here. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Where's Henry? Underneath the bed? Take the phone, Alex. Once she put it on, you can just see Henry. You don't have her sign an NDA. Of that, I'm certain. And then you let her bring her phone in here. Yeah, sword fighting. Zara? Uh, breathe, 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 breathe. You want some juice? You might have to like, make sure like no one really drank from it, but you can drink. Okay, shut up, okay? The both of you, I need to think. Okay, well, just keep it a secret. That's what you're gonna do. More security guards. Process of becoming, but you're the one who decided to put your dick into the air to the British throne. Well, technically, I'm the spare. Okay, I thought you better say, really and truly, I'm the tough. I'll be, you know, putting stuff inside. You better be dressed and in the lobby in five minutes so we can get your mother reelected. Unbelievable. That wasn't too bad. I thought it was gonna be worse. I've met someone. Okay. Is that all? Maybe start off with I'm bi? Also a he? And he happens to be Henry. You need to figure out if you feel forever about him before you take this any further. I just want to make sure you know you need to wear a condom if you're having anal intercourse. Yeah, they've been doing it with a condom, I think. Now, I don't know if it's popping or not, or like after the second or third time, they just don't use it. It's great to see you again, sir. What's with the sir? Please, call me Congress. Oh, well, in that case, you can call me your royal highness. He has the hat on too, so he's embracing American culture right now. Okay, so once we go back to England, is it going to be reversed, or is Henry just slowly just being carefree. Oh, you're falling in love. All right, so either his heart is starting to race or his penis is starting to grow. It's one of them two. And are you still sleeping? He did karaoke last night. Plus half a dozen tequila shots. Oof. Your mom and I were a stupid idea too. We were just babies when we had you. Nobody thought we'd make it. Right, so I'm liking Alex Parrott. Henry, I don't know. So, oh, I think I know what's gonna happen now. So. Because Alex's parents are kind of accepting him and this whole situation, I think Alex is going to say, I love you, and he wants to be in a relationship, but Henry can't do that because of Henry's family are going to be so against it. Mom will hopefully be in office again, and we won't have to worry about winning any more national elections, and I'll have a lot more freedom. I can take you around to all the places I grew up, and you can get to understand my life a little more. So the second half of this movie has to be maybe to convince Henry to do it or maybe to speak to Henry's family. It's like there's a rope attached to my chest and it keeps pulling me towards you. Well, I think Henry might just cut that rope. He knows now that he can't do it. Alex is in a very different situation. 
every four years, the mom, president, he's gonna be stuck being the prince for a very long time. So if he comes out, he's gonna be judged straight away. Um Hopefully he's going to understand. I wouldn't be doing this though. Like I'm thinking alligators, crocodiles. I'm surprised Alex didn't even think about this. Like it's kind of different in the UK. He caught a flight like that. I mean, he is the prince, but still. What happened in Texas? I ended things with Alex. You ended things or did you just leave? And you think Alex thinks that it's over. I felt myself getting too close. Oh. And I didn't want to break his heart. What about your heart? Second time it's broken when his dad died and just now. It's all so silly, isn't it? The idea of royalty in the 21st century. Do you love him? Oh, yes. What difference would it make if I did? Fuck your family. If you love him, F your family. Your granddad, he's going to die. Your sister, she's on your side. Your brother, who cares? Right, he's a dick. He'd leave me. Okay, he's doing good. Maybe send a text message. Like, the show support. You don't even have to flirt or talk about relationship. He won't answer any of my texts or take any of my calls. Well, you have air miles. Yeah, go to him. Go to London. We have the money. Get your man. And get some sleep. I think your eyes look a little bit red. Maybe some eye drops. Sir, Mr. Claremont Diaz is at the gate. Oh. He insists on seeing you. Yeah. You better, because I'm quite sure it's raining outside, right? What's going on, Henry? A week ago, we were happy, and then you disappear without saying a word? Let's not raise our voices. But then again, the granddad, he's old. He can't hear. All I know is I'm the one here willing to fight for us. Because it costs you nothing! Ah, debatable. A little bit. Now, Henry, you will lose more. Alex will still lose something. Like, if it comes out now, his mom is not going to win. And it's raining. Like, he had no umbrella. He don't care about anything except for you. In fact, this is costing me everything. And if this is over, I at least deserve to know why. Yeah, because he might get hyperthermia. Psh, might catch a cold. I have centuries of history bearing down on my shoulders. And a lot of incest in that history too. And want you and... And still not want that life. So how do we break this cycle? I think we're going to be forced to talk about it. So someone's gonna take a picture. And you can live in your tower and protect your heart for the rest of your life and nothing will ever happen to you. True, you're never gonna fall in love. Cause he's gay. Like if he was bisexual, maybe something could happen with a girl. But right now, you might as well just die then. You're never gonna find love. So tell me to go, Henry. And I promise I will walk out that door and trouble you no longer. And borrow a umbrella. We need that, 100%. <sighs> what are we gonna see? Some pictures, a special room. Okay. Wait, so we had the key to this as well. Well, here's the prince, but still. Oh, it's gonna be like your great great grandfather? I don't know. At night, no one else is around to gawk at you. I can see how this would be relaxing. Reducing his stress levels. When I was younger, I would dream we dance right here amidst all these statues. Oh, don't tell me someone is following them. They dance. Alex plays music. Someone takes a photo. I really hope no one comes here and ruins it. Slow dance. PG-13. Embrace each other. That is it. Even though there's a bunch of naked people here. Like, we don't have to get naked. Let them be naked for us. It, that sounds so crazy, but you know what I mean. It's be like one more plot twist or one more main thing which has to happen. I want you to have some part of me. Oh, the ring? Okay. Until you can have all of me. Oh, the key! Yeah, I was about to say. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Plus, maybe the key to his heart. Go in an election. Nice. Now we can kiss now. No one's over here unless his brother's here. There's a lot of people here. Do people know? Sure, it makes no sense. If people would know, they would be in his room. How many of our emails? All of them. All of them. And I know, like, at least 10% is very sexual. Okay, can we kill that person who leaked it? Let's do something. You can't do this. 
orders from the palace, sir. No, I give the orders in this palace! These orders are from Buckingham Palace. I told you to kill your dad. Not your dad, your granddad. Kill your granddad. He is way too old. Tried my contacts within the White House. Okay. There's no luck. They may be speaking to Downing Street, but mm. they're not speaking to us. Well, get someone from Downing Street then. Let's communicate. As details emerge about Alex Claremont Diaz's relationship with the prince. I think the public might help. When it comes to any news anchors, maybe some politicians, they're all going to be against this. The public, I can't tell. It's like 50-50. I told you it was him. I get it. It's about two guys, but we can kill some people in a movie still. These emails were posted to Reddit at 11.54 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Sunday night. Are you really that quick or did you perhaps have advanced knowledge that this leak was going to happen? Or could it have been him? She said it was like three hours, right? That means he did it. The truth is every queer person has the right to come out on their own terms true. and on their own timeline. Self-determination which are exactly the principles on which the struggle for queer liberation has always been. I like what we're doing here because right now, Alex is very well trained with media, right? Henry is not. He might slip up or might say the wrong things. So it's good that Alex is speaking for both of them. I just want to see what Henry has to say. I hope one day we'll have the opportunity to be public about our relationship. Is it still possible I've crossed my mommy election? Oh, I don't know. Not, not really. Next week? Oh. So time is moving very quickly in this movie. Sean Travastava, this is our Bankston. Look, I know we said we'd only use these phones in an emergency. Perfect ass over to the prince, hand him your phone, or so help me God, you will never see me naked again. Oh, you're sleeping with him? That is crazy. International affairs going on. Hello? Are you okay? No. No, I'm not okay. Try and leave if you can. Yeah, and let's tag team and kill the granddad. Yeah, Henry definitely needed that. Well, they both do, but still. Does anyone know that Alex is here? So it seems like the mom's going to win. Part of me wonders if their entire strategy is to deny I ever existed. Can't keep you locked away forever. Well, he's got like, what, five more years of reign and he's gonna go? Then obviously your brother has to take charge, which can be very annoying. Maybe cut them both. Your speech was beautiful. Made me very proud to be your boyfriend. The king wishes to see you. Both of you. Oh, both? Okay. He's not gonna shout at Alex, right? I do not need your advice, Philip. Bunch of... Yes, but you continue to make a mockery Bunch of yourself and in turn. What is he going to say? Governments who routinely concoct wholesale fabrications about prominent people. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Fuck it. Just come out together and say what's going on. That's what you're going to do. Don't listen to your granddad. The truth from which I am determined to protect you. I don't want your protection. I want your support. You don't deserve to be happy. I'm... But to throw away your future because of one mad infatuation. <laughs> Yeah, know your place, please. Tell him to leave, right? Or go sit with the sister. That's all you gotta do. Alex and I love each other. Yeah. Deeply. Hold hands too. Oh, you know what? We should go out holding hands. Your primary responsibility is not to your heart, but to your country. But what if the country supports this? I think that's what's gonna happen. Because... because because the nation simply will not accept a prince who is... Okay. So I think the public's gonna change. We're gonna go outside or maybe do an interview and they're gonna support Henry. Or they could be outside right now. You're all to go home immediately and, and await further instructions. What's going on outside? Oh, a mob. Well, not a mob, just supporters. Apparently there are crowds forming in Manchester, Sheffield, Birmingham. Nice. Oh! Step out right now on the balcony, both holding hands, and raise your hands together. Starting today, the world will know me for who I am. Yep. And not who you want me to be. There we go. Alex, come here. Step out. I love you. I love you more. Okay. Uh, I think that's up for debate. Yeah. Let's do it. Balcony time. Oh, yes. Okay, now. Do it. Do it. Oh, that's the wave? We should have held hands together. Maybe kiss after that. You fought hard. 
and it isn't over yet. Where's the mom? Give him a hug. All right, so he should get some type of props, right? Elections do matter because they give you a voice. This was a very interesting movie. It wasn't too forced in a certain direction. It was very well balanced, which I like. And it felt normal, like the whole situation. Sometimes they try to push it to the extreme. We won. We won. After you. Altogether, this was a very good movie. I liked it better than I expected. Like I said before, very well balanced. I think they dealt with certain situations with the LGBTQIA plus deal with. I'm quite sure I said that correctly. And they made both characters likable. Sometimes when it comes to these type of movies, in the beginning, one of them is very arrogant or not likable. And then maybe halfway through the movie or show, he kind of redeems himself. And then after you start to like both of them. But straight away, they're both dealing with it in different situations. As I said before, if you guys do want to watch the full commentary for this movie, you can check out my Patreon. It's the first link in my description box. But I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.